I made it until January 10th. And I started on January 3rd. That's right. She, she didn't even well, start well, on New well, Year's Day. Roxanne confessed that she has already fallen off the mm. wagon in dry January. <laughs> now, today is the 13th, right? Yeah. Today is Thursday, January 13th. What day did you actually, you're, you're just admitting it now, or you admitted it in an email to me last night. Yes. But when did you actually fall off the wagon and bust your vow for a dry January? I made it until January 10th, and I started on January 3rd. That's right. She, she didn't even well, start well, on New well, Year's Day. She started on the 3rd. Oh, that's right. You... So she had the party weekend. You ate three days into January before you started dry January. That's 10% of a month. So I was doing so well. And then on Monday, it was Monday. And we, we you know, we're sitting outside eating dinner. And I was just like, you know what would really go well with these screaming kids? And <laughs> Scotch. sushi? Scotch. A whole, a whole bottle of Pinot Noir. <laughs> a whole bottle of Chardonnay. Doug, do you, still have, do you still have that moonshine, Doug? I need this moonshine to put up with these kids. A whole cardboard case of white claw. <laughs> yeah, he's into that. That's, Doug, Doug drinks, that, he, he drinks, drinks white claw. White claw like water. It's just so strange. Oh, my God. Doug, Doug actually calls it water claw. <laughs> he does. Oh, my He God. does. But I had this big glass of wine they gave me a big pour at this restaurant on monday and i why did you all if if you're participating in dry folks Mm -hmm. by the way for those that don't know i think most do dry january is a pledge that during the month of january you cut alcohol out of your diet that you just go dry for the month of january especially after the drunken debauchery of the holidays yeah i mean you're coming off of new year's eve and the holidays and people decide hey we're going to start the new year alcohol free for the month so Roxanne jumps on the bandwagon, albeit three days late. Her her dry January began on January 3rd. Just and, got to the party. Ready? And it ended a week later on January 10th. So why did you allow, you were at a restaurant? Yes. Were you, Outside, I have uh, the video to prove it. Uh, you were outdoors. Yes. All right, and who ordered the wine? Me. So I did. Oh, you ordered. <laughs> she so, ordered the wine. She's like, you know what sounds good with these crazy kids. You made. The, I, I seriously said that. You yeah. made the conscious decision uh-huh. that dry January. You had your kids with you. Yes, yes. Both our children were there, what? and it's it's an outdoor area. They've got a fountain. They've what? got a fire pit. What restaurant was this? This is Sushi Alive by my house. And so they're running to the fire pit. They're running to the fountain. And I'm like chasing them. Sit back down. Sit back down. And then I just couldn't do so, it anymore. Wait a you have the kids that are running all over the place, and people are saying, "My God, those parents can can they control their kids? This is just unfair. The kids are screaming. They're running all over the place. What if your kid tripped and went right into the fire fountain? I know. I know. What, no, no, two separate things. There's a water fountain yeah. and a fire pit, not uh, what, a fire fountain. Whatever. A I fire fountain would be scary as hell. That could. That would never pass like code. A, a volcano. <laughs> 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 That's a, code, a couple of code violations right there. Is that a fountain of fire? Why don't you send your kids to the rim of the Kilauea volcano in, in Hawaii? How ironic is that? It's a sushi place with a fountain of fire. The stuff isn't even cooked. All right, so you decide the kids are driving me nuts. I, I'm going to get sloshed. Yes, I did. I did. And I just said, Doug, I, I can't do it. I, I, go go get Daviana out of the fountain and give me a glass of wine. Your kids Thank were you. climbing in the fountain? It was their bath for the night. It you know, makes- I'm really opposed. <laughs> I I really look down on those parents that have the kids on those leashes. But it sounds like you no, need I, to. Daviana got a leash for Christmas. Oh, really? Yes, because we are going to take a trip to an amusement park at Wait, some point. From, She's never been. Did it come from PetSmart? It came from Chewy. It came from Chewy. It's, it's so easy. They deliver right to your house. Does Chewy sell kid leashes? Do they? Do they, tell, they well, they sell dog leashes, but you have, with a little uh, engineering, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you can uh, you can make it a kid leash. And for small kids, you just get a large dog. If you want the harness version, you know the harness leashes? Well, I yeah. use those for our dogs. The trick is to put like a backpack on the kid, that, and you latch the leash to the backpack. That's the kind that she has. Yeah. It looks like a little butterfly backpack. And then for snacks, do you give your kids greenies? <laughs> You know the little greenies? Yeah. It, it, it helps. M&M's. Green it's, M&M's. No, no, no. Greenies are for no, dogs. No, it's the dog treat. They, the greenies. Not, not green M&M's. It strengthens yeah. teeth and gums. Exactly. And bad breath. And dogs love them. Yeah. And kids. 
Well, let me tell you, I posted my story with my wine glass, and I can't tell you how many people hit me back. I already fell off, too. I already stopped drinking. Or, oh, my gosh, I'm so sick of these alcohol-free seltzer things I've been drinking. So I am not the only bad January dry person that can't stick to it. Man, you fell off quickly. You start late, you fall off early. I mean, how does it get worse? Mm.